Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. I am here in Toledo. I've got Randy from Muck and Nails and Jason from the Motor City Magnet Fishers with me today. It is cold. This is the first freezing morning that we've had. It was 32 when I woke up. Let's hope it warms up a little bit while we're out here. I am not ready for winter yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a magnet in the water. I threw it right in the tree. <laughs> first throw of the day, I got a shovel. Randy over here has a bike. He's gonna go ahead and pull this up. There you go. That's right. It rolls. So <laughs> what? As you can see, it's a scooter bottom, but I've also got the handlebars to a bike as well. Man, that's a weird looking hybrid. <laughs> Some good old handlebars. Check that out, guys. I got a full freaking stop sign. I've never found one with this sign still on it. Man, that is freaking cool. And I got a Ford wrench. I can pull it over. Last up on the Woo! We got one of these VO little bike scooter things out. These things are heavy. Is that the, the battery? battery? Wow. This probably is the heaviest scooter slash bike that we have ever pulled out. Never found one like this before. And if you look down here, this is the battery that goes to it. And we got that battery up and out of the water. That's a good thing right there. This is terrible for the environment. These nuts! Down into the river over here. Just over there, there's a suitcase. We're gonna pull that out and see if there's anything inside of it. Okay guys, we just pulled this out of the river. We are here in Toledo. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what is inside. The zippers are all broken. We'll start, this looks like there's another bag inside of this bag. So we've got some Carmex, some deodorant. This is like full still. We got some more socks, some Colgate toothpaste. Whoa! So Jason was just going through that bag a little bit more. You're not gonna believe what he just found. How did I not see that? And look at this. There was some jewelry. I wonder if those are real. I doubt it but that would be crazy if these little crosses had some actual diamonds in them a note-taking bible let's see if there's anything in here there's one note the first note says abortion on it We've got another pair of glasses these ones are not jeffrey dahmer's but <laughs> um looks like we've got a jordan we got some nikes a Sixers hat. Okay, we've got a SD card. I'm curious what's on this. I'm gonna keep and see if we can find out what's on this. Is money in here, guys? Whew. Not Tylenol. <laughs> it's not a lot, but it's two cents. And this money clip is really cool. Look at that. Oh, we got a knife, guys. All right. Pocket knife. Let's check this out. It's got a little piece of cardboard in it. It's got a wooden handle. I'll come show you a little closer. It has a wooden handle on it. It's a pretty cool knife. It's another one for the collection. Something on here says, so it said, upon finding God in a federal prison for a jewelry heist I did in New Mexico, I put my time to use. I was tired of hurting people in my family and my friends, so I made the change within myself, a drastic change. I have lost the soul of the outcast. If you will be disengaged from reality until I am found, my calling as a minister, something that comes from lover in me. And I ask, and I can't read that part, but the person on here, it says that they were a part of a jewelry heist in New Mexico. And now that makes me wonder if those little crosses are real. Never know. Got this here diamond tester, the Diamond Selector 2 by HMKIS. 
Now when I take this little point here and I push it down onto one of these little stones, it should shoot all the way up to nine if it is a diamond. So let's go ahead and check to see if it is a real diamond or not. For a jewelry heist I did and in New Mexico, a little. I put my it time to three. use. I was tired of hurting people. That one isn't real. That one isn't real. It's kind of hard to hold this thing down and not have it slide off. Ooh. So when you touch metal, it makes it go all the way up. So that's false reading. Well, it's a shame that these aren't real, but now we know. Still a cool find. There's everything inside this suitcase. That is absolutely crazy. Oh, wow. And this lady's muffler is falling off of her car. You hear that? <laughs> She's got no muffler on there. That lady has no muffler on her car. It's just dragging along. But on that time, I got myself a tape measure. <laughs> I did find keys. With that find, it looks like I've got somebody's car key and a house key. That's concrete. There's a concrete filled safe door. That was old, man. Wow. Hey, Randy, we're gonna tell you on the way here. We're gonna find safe today. You jumped about it. That's cool, man. That's fine. Oh yeah! Nice job, Ring. Yeah. Scooter back number two. Trying to fish that battery out. <laughs> and that thing looks like I got a dog bowl. <laughs> right? You got a shopping cart. <laughs> Second one of these that's been pulled out today. Jason found one a little bit ago. It's awesome. Oh, I got something. Oh, ho, ho. first sharp stuff of the day for me. Check this out. I got a pair of little scissors, little tiny snips, and they're in pretty good condition. I'm actually gonna keep these. <laughs> and I got a set of wheels, guys. Looks like going off like a little wagon or something. <laughs> Still rolls. <laughs> and I just found the pop socket from a phone. You can see where the sticky part was before. I'm not sure what on this is magnetic, but it sticks to my magnet. That's weird. <laughs> With that throw, I've got the head to a hammer. And I found a bicycle. Nice find, dude. That's like the fourth bike today. <laughs> yeah, my second one. Right. <laughs> you got something? Not a ride. Yeah, this thing's so good. People could ride this thing. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that. And I got myself a banana seat off an old bike. Man, this bike was probably sick in its heyday. <laughs> it's cool. oh. That would have been a whole lot cooler if it came off with the handle. So really cool find, dude. Yeah. I wish Deesh was here. I'd give it to her. Cool. So we got the stand on it. <laughs> and I've got a plate from the railroad. Ooh. This is a bigger railroad plate. These would be used on the railroad. These are freaking heavy. But that. Got a railroad spike. You weren't ready for how heavy they are. Yeah, they ain't light. Too bad they broke the cash box open. Just want to get one coin to date them. It's push. Push button. All right. I wonder if there's any change at all in there. 
I don't know. I doubt it. They wouldn't have cleaned the cash. They wouldn't have broke the cash box open and cleaned it out to leave anything. As always, it's gonna be my last throw, guys. If I find something recognizable, I'll throw again. But if I don't, I'll be done for the day. Let's get this magnet back in the water. All I found on that throw was a pipe. It is recognizable, but it's nothing that's like crazy or anything. So I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys have not headed over to Randy's page, Muck and Nails, and hit subscribe, or headed over to Jason's page at the Motor City Magnet Fishers, make sure you guys do that. Hit subscribe and get those alerts turned on. They're posting a lot of really good content. Also, if you guys haven't headed over to my TikTok channel, you won't want to miss out. I post all my best videos there, and I post there daily. So if you got the itch to watch a Michigan Magnet Man during the week, that's the spot to do it. Without further ado, I will see you guys next week.